Selling your house? Thornton's property. Experienced local staff that deliver the best results. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. Well, at this point in the result, but you can probably argue that 4 one is a rather flat thing scoreline. Yeah, you could, particularly how we started the game. I mean, the dead conditions pitch was really poor. The conditions were, were difficult for both sides, and we picked the team sort of knowing that it was going to be like this. And for 35 minutes, we haven't got a problem. You could argue with a better side, we're more in their half, forced a few corners, probably made the wrong decisions one or two times that could have maybe led to better uh, opportunities. And then we gift them a goal from a counter attack, then we gift them a second goal when two players collide and give away possession when we shouldn't. And then the third goal we should deal with a back post. I mean, just real basic individual mistakes that have hampered us all season, and um, that's why we lost today, that's why we've lost too many games this year and that's why we're going to be you know, in, the, in, in the bottom six. We had, you know, I, I'd come up here today believing we could win and um, you know, and put pressure on Hearts for tomorrow uh, to make sure that they had to get a point um, you know, to get to, to get top six but um, it looked as if you know, one or two players probably didn't believe in as much as I do. As you mentioned, back to half an hour period where we could argue we were absolutely dominant. How you know, frustrating is it? Well, it's frustrating. I mean, it, it, it's been frustrating all season. It's been a frustrating season for me. The players are honest enough. They know it's been frustrating. They've made too many mistakes. And it's frustrating you know, for the fans that have come up here today as well and the fans that have watched us all season. But, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, how bad we've been. We still had an opportunity of possibly getting top six. And that's the most frustrating thing, that too many times this year we've, we've rolled over and made too many individual errors and, and physically and mentally haven't been tough enough at times. But, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, we've put ourselves in a good position in the league in terms of, you know, getting away from them bottom two places. We still want to finish the season strongly, still want to finish in seventh place. And then, you know, between now and the end of the season we're in reassess who stays and who goes. That, that, you know, we won't finish in the top six this season, but that is the first thing that we're going to finish in the bottom six since you took over. I mean, in a way, that must make you proud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> proud of, of, of what's happened in the past, but you know, football, you, we, we can't live in the past. It's been difficult because, I mean, the league has got stronger, and you know, I'm, I'm having you know, regular meetings with the chairman, and we, we need, you know, he knows my thoughts, what, what I feel that we need to do to, to make sure that we can be a force for, for top six. But if you look back at the season, you know, Aberdeen's probably the only team that's dominated us completely. Um, we've given away too many cheap points and too many cheap goals. Uh, we're players that, years gone by, uh, you know, have been the mainstay for us. Um, you know, so it's all about finishing as well as we can now. It's all yeah. about seventh place. That, that, that's, that's all we can do. We want to finish seventh place. That's the bottom line. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you.